I'm Priya, I'm an ultra runner. I'm also a fifth year medical student and was on the reality TV show Love Island. So I try to balance training up for my ultra marathon with working in a hospital. I'm really looking forward to going out to Sri Lanka, running the 250 um, Ultra X Ultra Marathon. Training for an ultra whilst also working in hospital is really tough because you never have enough time. It's pretty hectic, but I enjoy it and I think that's the most important thing. When I was at school, I was really interested in science, found like biology, the whole concept of a human body, really, really interesting. And then I did work experience at an A&E, my local hospital, and I just found it so exciting. I loved, like, there was always something going on. I loved talking to patients, helping them calm down. Health is just so important. I think that's what most people would say is the most important thing. And so I think that's why I went to do medicine. Working in night shifts uh, and like an unavoidable part of medicine, like you've just got to do it. And it's not the most fun thing, uh, but you get used to it over time. I probably don't enjoy the lack of sleep on night shifts and the fact that I'm living off coffee for about 12 hours. That's, that's tough, but I do enjoy the fact that incredible things are going on but actually no one else realises and everyone else is asleep. Night shifts affect my running because it means that I have to run at really awkward times. You try to fit in as much as you can in the daytime, but you also know that you have to prioritise sleep. It's just my schedule is like flipped completely. I find it a lot harder to, to exercise and to run. So I've just finished today at 12 hour shift in Obs and Gyne. I saw three beautiful women give birth. Um, women were beautiful, but the process of giving birth, not so beautiful. Um, yeah, it was a long, it was a long, long 12 hours, but I'm looking forward to getting home, having some breakfast and a nice long rest. What does get me out of bed is coffee in the morning. I probably tend to wake up at about 5.30 every morning and head over to my F45 class, and do the 6 a.m. class, and then have a quick coffee, do another F45 class, and then head into hospital for about nine. It's a high intensity interval training workout. Uh, so lots of cardio, uh, lots of jumping, um, a little bit of time on the bike and the rower. The one that I hate is box jump burpees. The worst, honestly. Like five seconds of those, literally a burpee and a box jump, and that's me done for the session. <laughs> I find that my HIIT workouts build my strength, um, which is so important to prevent injuries and in running. A lot of runners like don't do any any sort of strength training, which is like it's a huge no-no for ultra running because you need to build like the muscles around your joints because otherwise you'll just get injured. So that's why I do prioritise on like every day, apart from like my one rest day of the week, I do prioritise going to the gym, doing the HIIT training because it builds up my endurance, but it also prevents running injuries. I can definitely feel the endorphins after I exercise, and that just has such a good impact on my day. If I didn't work out, I don't think I'd be able to focus as much or as well as I do in hospital. And similarly, if I didn't have a busy day in hospital, I wouldn't enjoy the exercise as much. So I'm all packed, ready to go to hospital, done my two HIIT workouts, had my coffee, done my journaling, now ready for a busy day on the paediatric ward. I'm looking forward to it. So it is very full on, you're on your feet um, with minimal breaks. Yeah, it's tough. 
I look forward to my runs after my long day. Those runs in some way help me get through the day because I look forward to them so much. It's a weird hobby to have um, and I don't know if it does help with my running but I do find that journaling makes me feel so much better. <laughs> I started journaling about, I think it was 2021, 20, that was my that was my New Year's resolution. I'd like gone through a breakup, so I had loads of emotions that I wanted to get out on paper. And it just allows me to, you know, like analyse my thoughts a little bit more, which like takes a little bit of stress off me. And I feel so much more free when I then go out for a run. It's been a long day in hospital and now I'm looking forward to relaxing, going for a nice long run. Running makes me feel, I can't describe it. It's, it's a good feeling though, it's a great feeling. <laughs> so I've got a chronic lung condition, it's called bronchiectasis and I was diagnosed with it when I was about 14. I had a chest infection, had pneumonia, ended up in hospital. And after that, I did struggle to get back into running and used to get out of breath really quickly. I found that running is the best way to treat it and doing like cardiovascular exercise helps me massively because I have a chronic cough and end up, it's pretty gross, but like end up having quite a lot of like mucus building up if I don't do exercise. And I've tried, you know, inhalers and different sorts of treatments, steroids, that kind of thing. And they don't help me as much as running does. And so I don't actually take any medication for my chronic condition, I run. I think running helps me to get out lots of stress and then go into work feeling relaxed and focused. So I'm able to tackle my hectic day with that sort of peace of mind that I get from running, which is so important where you're, when you're in hospitals. It's such a, like a hectic job, like there is drama going on constantly. You know, people are ill, there's lots of shouting. I think it, it helps to have a calm and focused mind when you're taking on situations like that. And people, and people really appreciate that in hospitals. So just spent the day at the hospital. It's been really hectic. So it's nice to get out on my evening jog. Feels like a bit of an escape. Um, I love the fresh air, very relaxing. And yeah, it's a nice way to end the day. Doing Love Island, that was always just like an experience for me. And obviously I'm so grateful for the opportunities that have come up off the back of it. It was really difficult going from the Love Island Villa to my normal life. I found that there were so many opportunities that came up and I really don't like saying no to people. I had to learn the hard way because I felt like I was drowning. A lot of people think that when you're a reality TV contestant, you have a life that is dominated by your social activities. And for a lot of people it is. That's not something I really prioritise. I'd prefer to spend like a night running and then having a great dinner like by myself or you know with my boyfriend just you know a quiet night. I tend to study in the afternoons. I have a couple of hours um, after lunch and um, try to get done as much possible as I can. Currently just going over how to do a cardiovascular examination um, which I'm going to need to do tomorrow on a couple of patients and after that I've got a run planned and then a nice dinner. I tend to do long runs on the weekend, stay like 30k and over, and then tend to fit in shorter, faster paced sessions um, throughout the week. I think I prefer running on the trails because it's something that's totally different and you don't really get that in London. I feel like in London, there are so many people and it really is so frustrating, like dodging people. Whereas in the, on the trails, it's more, you know, technical. 
where you're, instead of dodging people, you're like dodging trees. <laughs> and it's just so much more fun and I find it really exciting, but that's probably because I don't tend to run on trails. Running was a, like an escape that was necessary for me when I was working on the wards. I don't think I could have worked on the wards if I didn't have the release of running. It was good to be able to get, get out, get away from the hospital, and have some time to myself just to breathe and think and you know get out any emotions. I remember like during the really tough days when I was working during Covid, I remember going on runs and just like crying and it was just like a total release of energy and it was so important for my mental health. People don't realise how great running can be for mental health and it's definitely helped me like get through some of the toughest times I've experienced. I haven't really thought past Sri Lanka actually. I'm all about like taking on one challenge at a time, not throwing myself in into the deep end. But who knows um, where that will take me, like the next steps. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do afterwards. I probably have like the ultra bug where I'll sign up to like five different races over the course of next year. Uh, but not really sure. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs>